In the previous lesson, I've told you how to make the custom claim for each specific user by hard coded their uh, user ID. But this time, I will teach you how to do the role checking by using this custom claim. For example, not all the members can go to this page. They need to be a the role of the administrator in order to get this page so the next step we are going to do is making the role checking function by using our old friend custom king so let's do it hello everyone welcome back to our course i'm so sorry that uh i'm very busy uh in this month so uh, i cannot provide uh all the tutorials you want to so but first of all uh, I will keep making the tutorial for this course and uh, let me update the new things to use so you can see our article card has a missing image source because the source we have using this website have been changed some uh, things we need to use our access token to get the image so uh, we cannot just type the URL here instead of uh, so uh, when you see the image so you can see there's a um, SS token for here so because uh, there is no API for us to um, apply for the token so uh, we keep it empty okay so this tutorial I will teach you how to uh, create a new article and uh, submit to the uh, Firebase file store. So let's get started. So when you log in the for your account and uh, click the new article button, so you will be restricted to this page. However, if you are not using the uh, admin account, so uh, the system will restrict you to the home page. So after you have logged in it, so what we are going to do is uh, in the previous lesson uh, we have do uh, the stay update so which means when you type something and change the publish date and we click submit and our article will be stored in our variables and uh, we are going to submit it so let's go to let's go back to our code to see how to submit this article so first of all, you need to go to the new article.js and you hit in here, this what we have clicked the button. So when we click the button, uh, in the current situations, we will print out the state. But this time, we want to submit the article. So uh, we delete the state and we type this dot submit. <coughs> articles and we will create the submit article functions so we scroll up here and we create the submit article function make sure you have uh, used the error function to call our submit article functions in here we can uh, call our article by using uh, this dot state articles so we need to compare is the article this dot state article in the article we have title content create a features image that we are uh, doing in the next tutorial and we have uh, is published day last modified and the uh, create user ID so in here so we want to uh, fill in the create user ID because in the default create user ID is empty but however we can pass the state in here we can pass our user ID by using the uh, routers so in here we want to pass our UID to replace the create user ID here so how it works Firstly, we can go here 
and type articles dot create user ID. We first create a instance of the state. We don't want to affect the original state. We use we copy the article object in here and we start editing our create user ID which is u equal to this dot props dot offend dot uid so uh, after you have finished it and we type we console dot load the article so let's see what happened in our browser so we type something in the title and the content so we change the uh, publish date and click submit so oh so you can see uh we cannot read the properties uid of undefined so let's see what happened so in here we need to check what's wrong with that so we go back to the previous directory which we uh, the router manager so in here we will pass uh our pros dot of an object because we are in the admin only functions so in here we pass the of an object we load the uh, of an object but in the return method we won't we won't pass the of an object what we have passed before we use this dot plus dot of an which is not in this function the function cannot use uh, the of an object because we pass the of an object here so we can just add it to the of an object uh, and save save it again and go back to our chrome so we type again so we change the save uh, we clean the console and enter so in here you can see our create user id is now fixed and the next step we will push this json object to the file store so we go back to the new article.js so in here we are almost ready to push the articles so how we push the articles so in remember in our main.js we have been uh, create a function to get the article from the file bay file store and in here we can define which directory we are going to uh, locate and get the articles from the file store so in here we can do the similar thing we use the db object to store our article so we can copy this db object definition here and paste it on top of the class in here we scroll down to the submit article function so we can first delete the not here so we can type db dot collections and in the brackets we need to enter where is this article will be stored and we store it into article collections oops so in this article storage collections we have created in the previous previous and previous lessons and then we can enter our new verse which is add you can see in add we can uh, pass the json object in here so and this time what we have got the json object is the article so we can just pass the article here so let me make it cleanly and last but not least the add method will return a promise so we add the then method to see whether the article is stored so in here we can uh, return the result and we want to load the result to see what happened uh, when I store the articles and we want to catch any errors for the later on we want to do some uh, 
data based road restrictions. We want to some make some uh, permission for the people who can access, who can add some uh, content in the database. So in this stage, we haven't make the permissions for the user who have been uh, adding the, the content to our database. And we also want to cache our errors in the later on maybe some user didn't have the permission but they trying to add some content okay so after we have do these things so we save it and go back to our uh, chrome okay at the same time uh, i would like to uh, open to the firebase console to see how it update so we go back to our app and we type some title for example we just enter title and uh, uh content uh, maybe we maybe h1 and we set the state to uh true proper state and after we have clicked the button so we go back here to see what happened how it update okay when you click here so you can see the green light it will show and our article is stored in the articles collections so when you click here you can see our content and title and our uid is stored so our also our published date is stored so we go back to our app and go to the home page so you can see our latest article this one the date here have been stored because we didn't have the features image that we are going to do it in the next tutorial and you can see our uh, article will be displayed on the home page because uh, we set this published attribute come to true so in the next article i will teach you how to uh, uh, make the featured image how to upload the image and uh, maybe the next tutorial we will teach you how to edit the existing article, please, so please stay tuned. Curiosity is a self-learning platform with knowledge-based recommendation systems, providing a personalized learning experience for the self-learner and the school students. People could share their knowledge and exchange for the rewards. We are doing the next generation learning tools for the next generation of learners.